Hey guys, I told you guys I was coming back with another video. So dad had been speaking to me. You guys, he gave me a dream January 14th. Um, in his dream, I was not ready. I waited too late. Um, and he's also been bringing me back to other dreams and words that he has spoken to me because now is the time for these things to manifest and that these things are happening. Okay, so you guys, with every word that I ever release, or that you hear from anyone else, I always ask you guys to test the spirit that you take it back to the Lord um, and allow him to reveal to you if it is for you, if it is in your season, you guys. So test the spirit. I don't care who you guys are listening to. You always test the spirit behind the person and behind the word that they are speaking. So um, you guys, first and foremost, let me just acknowledge God um, as the one and only true living God, the Alpha, the Omega, um, the God who sees all things, who knows all things my gyra my like he is so amazing okay he is so amazing he's our provider he's so good with the way that he speaks and he's very strategic nothing is by coincidence nothing happens by coincidence he's very very good and he is worthy to be praised at all times and you know and as i come forth to release these words that he has given me to release i just pray and i ask that it's all of him and none of me and that he speaks to whoever that this word is for that he makes sure that this video reaches who this word is intended for and i decree and declare there will be no retaliation against me as i release this word or against those who receive this word i also pray um that you guys are asking the lord to check your heart postures and that you are repenting daily for every sin committed knowingly and unknowingly physically and spiritually i also come in the name of jesus christ and i just ask that the holy spirit is increased in me as i decrease in my flesh and that the lord will speak to those he intend this word to be for and that you guys will take it back to the lord for further confirmation and further revelation in the mighty name of jesus christ okay so um in my dream you guys i wasn't ready it was a man um and he wanted to take me out for like brunch or or like dinner or something. He wanted to just take me out on like a nice food date, right? And I wasn't ready. And I remember like going to the bathroom and he interrupted me when I was going to the bathroom. I was going to like take a bath. And he was like, no, like I'm going to just go and get some Chick-fil-A. But and that just represented he just wanted to grab something like small for like right now but what he was really trying to do was you know take he wanted to take me out so i'm like i'm just gonna take a bath but in my dream i didn't have enough time it was no time i had to take a shower i was i could not take a bath and then um i was trying to find something to wear i could not find anything to wear guys i had nothing to wear my nails was not done I just was not ready at all. And then I finally thought I had an outfit, you guys. It was like some sandals and it was a jacket, but then my toes wasn't done. And I had a little piece of old fingernail polish still on my toes, guys, that I was like trying to peel off. And I'm like, I have people there and they're trying to help me. And I'm telling people like, well, can you bring me my white tennis shoes? And in, in real life, I do. I have like these white Jordans or these white Nikes and they have like red on the bottom of them, but they're all white. And i seen them in, i seen them in a dream so i'm gonna let you guys know what all of this represents and the revelation that the lord gave me behind this and um so i remember telling somebody like to yell out to him like i'm coming tell him i'm coming i could sense even though i didn't see him again after the bathroom scene i could sense that i just knew he was in the car and he was waiting for me but then i also had like a um a flash in another part of the dream where i was sitting like i was like trying to take a shower in the car like the passenger seat was wet i was like trying to get ready in the car it was so it kind of threw me off it was so weird and then um i remember another scene where i was like in this person's garage and i was like he had a lot of bikes and i was like organizing the bikes in his garage and i felt very comfortable being in his house and being in his garage and doing those things so i'm gonna um and this is like really the short version of the the dream guys because i don't want to make this video too long and these god ordained unions is really priority um to dad right now and this this is really the season for a lot of us to walk into um our marriage unions right so and you guys let me just make it 
plain as day this is dad's channel so i don't get on here and release anything unless he tells me to and even so when i finally do release a video it's because i've been sitting on it and and i need to stop doing that because i've been getting in trouble dad has really been checking me um about just sitting on stuff that he's been telling me to release right because i feel like i always have to make sure i'm really it's really him and it's not anything that's coming from my flesh right um but i don't really like posting these videos personally the god where they marriage because i feel like it's so many out and some people they grab hold to words that's not for them and it kind of leaves them in a you know in despair and you know their hope deferred so i kind of like to avoid it but when dad tells me to put out a word i have to be obedient okay so because somebody needs to see it somebody needs to hear it so um I'm getting ready to go and give you guys an interpretation. Okay, so, okay. So, when a man interrupted me in the bathroom, this was, this is a man that, you know, I, it, it was an interruption because I wasn't expecting it. I was not expecting it and I wasn't ready for it. It all caught me off guard by surprise. Now, dad is having me release this because he, he's telling you guys that you need to prepare. And some of you are so comfortable and so complacent because you don't believe that it's the time. It's about to happen. I know that you guys have been seeing word after word after word saying it. But a lot of you guys haven't been testing the spirit or asking, you know, dad, if it was a word for you. A lot of you guys have just been grabbing hold to it. But for a lot of you guys, this is the season. He's been sending signs. He's been showing you wedding stuff. He's been showing you rings. He keeps speaking it, which means it's closer and it's here. Um, so... Okay, in my dream, my toes weren't done, okay? So I wasn't prepared. I told you guys that. I had a little bit of fingernail polish still left on my toes. This in the dream represented some of you guys who still have doors open or open access to someone from your past, an ex, or even if you're not even talking to them right now, it's almost kind of like a, a, just, a just in case door open, right? So what the Lord is saying, make sure you guys close every door to anything anyone in your past that he has told you to leave alone to let go or to close so i don't know who that's for but whatever it is a phone call text message none of that you have to let it go because he's doing a new thing and you cannot bring the old into the new okay so let it go get rid of it because what he's doing he don't need you having access your ex don't need to still have access or you know any type of communication with you because he's doing a new thing and you guys don't want to just start off on the wrong foot right in your relationship so um whoever is in your past that's lingering around or trying to linger around you guys close those doors um so another thing okay so in my dream when i finally found a outfit i was um well let me go back to the bathroom scene you guys this man he interrupted me in the bathroom and he caught me off guard because of the time and i wasn't ready so i went i'm thinking i'm going to take a bath i wanted to take a bath but i couldn't take a bath because i did not have no time to take a bath when you take a bath it's so that you can relax you you know you're going to be in a tub for a while this was not the case because it was happening now i had to even dad was just like showing like no this is the time where you could take a shower but you cannot take a bath because when you take a shower it, by him showing me the shower instead and i couldn't do the bath with some relaying to me that the time is now you don't have any time to sit and to relax and to ponder you got to be quick and take the shower so the man he went off and he was like um i'm just gonna go grab a bite to eat and i <laughs> chick-fil-a i thought chick-fil-a in a dream so he he goes he grabs a bite but this is a man that's very intentional okay whether this is somebody that dad is bringing back to you and he's re um and he's rejoining some things because he has you guys separated or whether this is a new person so if this is a, a ex that dad has separated you guys so that he can continue to work on you or whether this is a new person when they come back or this new person they're going to be very 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 intentional okay they're going to be ready they're going to be intentional there's no more time to waste so he was like okay well i'll go grab a bite right now but really what he wanted to do was sit down and eat he's intentional so he wants to sit he wants to learn you he wants to know more he wants to grow in you he wants to spend time so he wanted to he's going to court you 
He's going, you're, you don't, for who this word is for, he's, this man is going to do all the work, okay? The ladies, you guys have been in the background, praying, fasting, doing the healing, doing all the work. When this man come, now is the time for you to relax, operating your feminine energy. Just, just be there and allow him now because that is going to show you that this is the one that he has ordained for you through the actions of this man. So that's why now it's your turn to receive. So allow the man to be the man, okay? You're not going to have to beg him. You're not going to have to chase him. You're not going to have to... He's going to be very, very intentional. You're going to know because his words and his actions are going to match, okay? So he wanted to... He, I could just tell. Like he wanted to take me out and like really really court me so and i felt like in a dream i just kept feeling 10 um and you guys can look up the hebrew meaning of, of 10 but um he wanted to he i just felt 10 like he was like i'll be back but i, I felt like he'll be back in 10 minutes so i knew i did not have any time like i was literally rushing to get ready so um and i'll tell you guys about the scene in the car where i was in a scene and like i was it was like a shower but i was like in a car this journey when you guys are on this journey um and while you guys have been on this on this journey dad has been cleaning you he has been pruning you purging you and spiritually cleaning you and for a lot of us women and sorry man this is just the perspective that i'm getting it from like the woman's perspective but you guys can feel free to reverse the roles okay if that's what dad is um leading for you to do but in the car, this is what Holy Spirit revealed to me. So we have sought God first and foremost, right? We have sought him and his kingdom first. We have, dad has literally, have be, he has become our first husband, our husband first. But what dad showed me <laughs> in a vision um, was that now he was removing himself and placing his sons in position. So even though I was still on the passenger seat, that was my right position, right? Was to be on the passenger seat. But what dad was showing was that now he's removing himself. He's still in control. Don't get it wrong. But now he's placing his sons in position to lead his daughters. So he's removing himself out of that position to where he was like, oh, God is my husband. And not. He's, he's placing his son in that position to lead you and to take care of you. So the, the son... His sons are the head of the household. So that's what he was showing me. That's what that scene meant. Because at first I was like, I don't, that, what, what, what was that for? But then Holy Spirit had to reveal to me that that's the meaning behind that. So, um, I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. I'm like all over the place. I'm trying to read notes and read my notebook. Okay, so, um, let me see. So yes, yeah, so the man he's gonna he, he's gonna come get you. He's gonna come get food. He wants to court you. He's very intentional. You don't got no time to take the bath because that's that was you being content, taking your time. You don't have no time. Um, and then I had people helping me. So dad is sending people. He's he probably already has sent like destiny helpers to help you to assist with um with this whole process. So things now that it's time you guys and i know everybody always talks about like the warfare and everything but you just went through the warfare when it's time when it's dad's time things are going to fall into place it's going to go smoothly okay you don't got to worry about warfare when you're in this this phase of it because it's now everything is aligning how dad wants it to align and it has it's going to go smooth everything is just going to be it's going things are going to be going so smooth and just flowing you're going to question if this is even dad's doing you're going to question you're going to be like is this even you're doing because it's just everything is just flowing just falling into place this phase is where when god says yes okay when god says yes it's now it's falling into place because this is his doing so it's going to go smooth and it's going to be it's going to go so smooth and it's going to almost seem too good to be true you're going to be like, no, nah, it is because you're so used to the warfare. You're so used to the warfare. You're so used to counterfeit situations. When things start flowing and going too good, you, you're now you're worrying. Now you don't believe that it's from God. OK, but what God blesses, he has no sorrow with. So, you guys, I need you to just take it back to the Lord and, and ask him. And he keeps sending you confirmations. He keeps sending you confirmations. So, um, 
he's going to be sending you help and let me see and like i said i was in a dream i was trying to get dressed you guys and nothing was working nothing was like looking right um and then even when i thought i had an outfit i didn't because my toes were they weren't done so but when when you wear sandals and when i was really you know speaking with dad about this and this is what he was just showing me when you wear sandals you know you're more so comfortable so i was comfortable in my walk i wasn't prepared so when i called and told them to bring me my shoes my white shoes i was and i see myself you know walking in my white shoes now i'm prepared for the assignment before when i was in the sandals i wasn't prepared for the assignment when i put my shoes on i was i was prepared for the assignment that god is you know having me walk into that he's leading me into now i'm prepared so he gave me a little bit of time to to relax to be comfortable but now he said now you're prepared to walk into the assignment now you're prepared to walk into the promise so guys that was the meaning behind that and then um like i said i was rushing so you guys prepare now because you don't want to be rushing and be caught off guard and like i said for a lot of you guys it's more so like a physical uh preparation right so because that have if you were not ready spiritually and mentally dad would not be bringing these promises to pass for you he wouldn't so you're ready but physically what he's been unctioning me to speak on is you guys getting ready physically get your hair done get your nails done find your outfits you guys do not want to be like me running around in this dream and i'm not even ready so um get ready get prepared physically and make sure mentally you guys are ready to receive it because what dad also spoke with me was it's going to seem too good to be true and i just released the word on all at once right so it's going to be a lot of stuff taking place all at once and the blessings of the lord is just going to overwhelm you okay so you gotta pray and ask him ask dad to help you to receive the blessings that he has for you and to prepare you to receive those blessings so that you're able to be a good steward of them right you don't want to put in all that work and now you're finally receiving these blessings and you don't know how to steward the blessings well so ask them to prepare you and to get you ready to receive the blessings because you deserve these blessings a lot of you aren't going to feel it's going to feel too good to be true like you don't even deserve it but the Lord is saying you deserve it. You deserve these blessings that he is bringing to you. Because he did not forget you. He has not forgotten you. All the tears you were crying. All the, the nights that you stayed up. The times that you were interceding in prayer for people. Even when you weren't even happy. Even when you didn't want to pray and you still got up and you prayed for people. All the times that you had to turn the cheek. All the times that people, they spoke bad about you. He did not forget anything. And he was there with you the whole time time so he's letting you know you deserve these blessings because i have not forgotten you every tear he has stored up so you guys you deserve these blessings so pray and ask the lord to um help you to be able to receive them okay physically you guys need to be getting ready um spiritually make sure you're constantly asking that to um check your heart posture make sure you guys are repenting for every sin committed knowingly unknowingly spiritually and physically you guys and um just be ready for for what god is getting ready to present okay ask them to prepare you so you guys um i pray that you take this word back to the lord oh the bikes the bikes in the garage thank you thank you thank you holy spirit so um the bikes in the garage um, like I said, I was comfortable with organizing the bikes in this person's garage, but, and it just lets me know that I was in the right place. I was where I needed to be. So for your husbands, these men, you ladies, um, they have a lot of, okay. So when you think of a bike, you think of what transportation, right? The bikes get, gets us to destination. So this man had ideas, visions, thoughts in his garage, right? The garage was the storage place. And these thoughts and these ideas were going to um are going to take these men to you know different destinations open new opportunities so um you organizing them you putting things you're you're the one that's going to kind of be putting things into a different perspective for them that you're going to be you know um helping put things in order um and god's going to use you to help put things in order okay so god is going to be using the women to help um 
put things in order and to to give further confirmation to these men right and that's and the thing was that was training you up to do like you are the only one who can help this man in that way okay so and we know that that is in a two by twos out so he you only you can help this man because this is who god has ordained for you to be with only he can help you because again this is who god has ordained you to be with so you are made dad has been like taylor making you to fit this person his lifestyle his needs his wants his desires right and vice versa so you you dad has established you trained you and prepared you to take on this assignment and these assignments with your spouse so um that's why i felt so comfortable being in the garage doing that and i was just like organizing things because you're going to come you're going to bring a lot of organization to this person's life to this man's life you're going to help them you know put things in order god is going to be helping them put things in order um through you as well so and then 10 10 represents authority completeness you know order divine perfection you guys so that's why i kept feeling like 10 minutes like that was just saying like okay it's it's complete you know i'm putting in order this is the time now you guys for um this union and he also spoke with me about some dates um i'm not sure if it's just for me personally or if it was one that he wants me to release he hasn't given me the um revelation behind that yet but i will say that it is soon so this is the word you guys i'm sorry that it's so long but um i in my dream i was not ready oh and that brings me to another word that is having me speak on you guys now i posted a video and the video was titled and dad just gave me the um my title well the title that he told me to put on the word um up next and not ready guys so up next and not ready so this was a word that he gave me november 20th um 2021 at 7 59 p.m i'm gonna read this to you and this is something that he just placed back on my spirit so i know it's re relevant in this time because he's been showing me a lot of dreams and visions that he showed me in 2021 that's now manifesting so up next and not ready this promise is about to catch you by surprise god gives us free will soon you will have the choice to choose between two options so you guys that's why i said it's very important to close those doors because for some of you is someone still lingering around or trying to linger around okay and that's nothing but the enemy trying to cause a delay and trying to bring a delay in this so make sure you guys are closing all those doors completely so that way there's no confusion you're not welcoming any confusion because trust and believe the the enemy was in your ex back and he you would think that this person is so perfect and it's going to bring you confusion you guys so just close those doors like the lord has um ordered you to do so it say for some of you the option may be of something or someone from the past in the dream i did choose the right option and i have in parentheses god's best one option will come with much clarity be a true identity and is long lasting and what you really desire and want the other option comes with confusion and baggage of some kind not true identity or character it will be short term or only look good on the outside and for a limited time with this option you will be settling many of you have not fully let go of old situations and you need to in order to make room for what god has for you a lot of you have been waiting so long you've grown weary and become content in a place god did not call you to be in you waited so long you're no longer preparing for what's about to manifest physically come out of that place and praise god before you see it during this way god was building up spiritual discernment these promises come with huge responsibilities and god needed to strengthen you in areas where you will be attacked if you can't handle the way how can you battle the attack some of you are questioning what season you are in and if you heard god right god loves to surprise his children so he leaves out the details because he does not need our help and we will get in the way don't frown upon situations that look impossible or dead god loves these situations because he gets the most glory out of them you can never say it was coincidence or by someone else's hand prepare he has been giving hints signs and some of you are looking past them thinking is not god or that you are overthinking pay attention get into alignment because it's here you are up next and you are not ready as with any word please test the spirits and take this before god for confirmation this word will not be for everyone for 
Those that it is for, it will resonate in your spirit or be some kind of confirmation. God saves the best for last and he has not forgotten nor forsaken you. He was preparing you. I give God all the glory and may he continue to shine his face upon you and keep his hand covering you. Guys, that was from 2021, November 20th, 2021. And dad brought that back to my um, remembrance yesterday. He kept saying up next and not ready. So you guys, he is speaking. Get ready because... <laughs> It's going to blow your mind, okay? It's going to catch you off guard. So I'm so excited what he's doing in this hour. I'm so excited what he's doing in this season. Um, even for me, as I was like looking at my calendar, I heard the Lord say, best year yet. Best year yet, guys. So it, it blew my mind. I'm so excited for what he is doing um, and what he is revealing. So you guys, please prepare. Please get ready. Because right now, as of right now, he has me releasing this word. Y'all not ready. Y'all is not ready for what he is doing. So um, test the spirit. Take this back to the Lord. And I'll see you guys in the next video.